the experts and the boxing journalists seem to agree. But even without them, I would say, I believe that Seth Mitchell will be the next great American heavyweight champion. Seth does things that the average guy just won't do, isn't willing to do. When the average guy is asleep, Seth, Seth is still working. Through the trees I can see how beautiful you I believe that Seth Mitchell is indeed the best uh, American headway out there. I think he's the next great American heavyweight. This is a guy who is a true athlete. to achieve greatness in the sport. I believe that God, I believe that God has blessed me with the athleticism, the size, the quickness, the power. And at the same time, I think he, he, he blessed me with the ability to want to wanna learn, the, the discipline, the hard work, the dedication, the, um, to not be arrogant. And um, he blessed me with the characteristic of being very humble. And uh, I think that's gonna take me a, a long way. And if, um, if that's the heavyweight championship of the world, um, I hope, hopefully that will be the case, but I just want to be the best that I can be in boxing. Repeat the question, please. Talk about the Seth, the next great American heavyweight. I believe he is. And in my mind, from a spiritual perspective, I believe he is today. Uh, if he'll accomplish that, I think, given his work ethic, understanding his why, knowing the kind of person that he is, and beyond being an athlete, just a, a genuinely good person, uh, I think he's going to put the work in that it requires to be a heavyweight champion. I think he's surrounded well, by the right people. He's a combination of a lot of things that we haven't seen in an American boxer of late. In fact, boxing, period. And those ingredients include size, strength, quickness, ring generalship, a marvelous jab. Every fighter have to have one, particularly heavyweights. Um, a boxing IQ, which just befuddles his learning curve. I mean, it's been awesome. I mean, tremendous. And coupled with work ethic, the man works hard. Uh, when I first saw him, um, I saw he was big, and we worked, worked out, and I saw this big guy's athletic and strong. Yeah, you know, er everybody, when you first meet them, will tell you I'm going to be champion and things and that. But Seth just doesn't do talk. He doesn't just talk. He'll show it by his desire coming in every day and uh, going through the school of hard knocks, getting hit upside the head with guys that are more experienced, that are more experienced. And he showed it. He showed it by his work ethic. Seth Mitchell, the next great heavyweight, I think he's got the tangibles and the intangibles. But to use a college sports analogy, I would say Seth has looked very good in his out-of-conference schedule. 
and now as we head into this fight on HBO on his debut and next year, we get to see how he does when facing a tougher schedule against guys who've been there, and we'll see if Seth Mitchell really has it to become that next great heavyweight that American fans are looking for. A lot of fighters, not, not to mention any names, there's a lot of fighters who speak about their talents inside the ring, but not much is said outside the ring about him as a person. Seth Mitchell is not one of those. When people talk about Seth Mitchell, they not only talk about the athlete, the boxer, they talk about the man, they talk about the father, they talk about the husband and his values and his moral character and who he is as a person as much as they talk about who he is as an athlete you or know, a boxer. I never lose any sleep over Seth uh, being out late at night or hanging with the wrong crowd because that's not his nature. He's spiritual. He has a very good family life with his wife, Danielle, and his two children. So he, he, he knows that those things would uh, distract him from his, his marriage, his kids, and his boxing life. So I, I was impressed it. with the man because the man spoke the truth. And I, being a child of the <laughs> 60s, I, I felt his vibrations. And I, I had a, just an overall good feeling about him. In fact, uh, Seth as the man is a person of high integrity and true grit. And uh, those are the things that I think I was most impressed with him. You know, family man, um, kind-hearted uh, young man. Um, he has very good morals, just spiritual, um, just, just, just a good person. He's a 29-year-old mature man, married with responsibilities, two children. And he takes care of those responsibilities. I think everybody who, those who know Seth, would, would tell you the same thing. He's an incredible uh, person with character and integrity. Uh, his word is his word. His word is his bond. Uh, as I said earlier, his, his work ethic is unmatched. But he is an, an amazing father and husband. Um, you can watch Seth come in this gym, and we watched his workout today. I don't think many people go through the kind of workout he went through today. It's grueling and it's tough and it's demanding, but he'll go home and pick up those kids and hug those kids and kiss those kids, and you can see the gleam in his eye when he talks about his wife, and I think those are things that you don't get when you watch him fight, when you see his interviews, that he's an amazingly loving person. Daughter Ariel, Elizabeth Mitchell, and my son Seth Austin Mitchell, well, we call him Austin. Um, my family is, is most important to me, my lovely wife Danielle, um, and my two children. Um, and I have a, a, course, a, a group of people that's uh, my inner circle who, you know, who pray for me a lot, and um, they're always in my heart when I, when I enter the ring. Uh, I'll, I'll be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed um, because I was excited about fighting on HBO and on that big undercard. At the same time, I know that that's a, a part of the sport, and I had faith in my, my camp and my, my promotional company, and they said that uh, I'll be in the ring real soon. And within two days, you know, I went from, you know, being the co-main event on HBO to my own main event, even though it was a smaller venue. But um, it was a great experience. And on top of that, I got to go out to Vegas and, and be on hand for the Floyd fight. So that was pretty cool in itself. And uh, then a couple of days after that, they said I was fighting on HBO. It, I, it was either going to be the 26th of November or December 10th. And it just so happened it was uh, December 10th and it's at home. So that's, that's a blessing. I realized that uh, it doesn't come around this often for you to, to be televised on HBO. And uh, come December 10th, I won't disappoint. Right now, you have Seth Mitchell. December 10th, you will get mayhem. Thank you. <laughs> Seth Mitchell is very, very focused. Uh, in fact, his intensity and his pursuit of purpose sometimes scares me. Hey, Seth, tell me about that last hour you just had. Hey, tough, hard, excruciating, painful. Whatever it takes. I, I don't know many people that exceed Seth's work ethic. Um, 
I, I don't want to say nobody has the same, but I don't know anybody who exceeds it. And he has a desire. He wants it badly. Um, I think it's, it's very important. The uh, main thing is to get the W, though. I definitely want to get the win, but uh, it's an entertainment business, and um, I've said it before. If I was 23-0-1 with, you know, four or five knockouts, I probably wouldn't be on HBO right now. It's an entertainment business people want to see, especially with heavyweights. They want to see knockouts, and uh, that's what I, I plan on giving them. At the same time, I don't go out there reckless and, you know, get away from my game plan. I just, we call it textbook. If I stay with my textbook, stand behind my jab, sharp defense, and uh, put my punches in bunch, I don't think it's going to be too many heavyweights that could last 10 to 12 rounds with We have to win and look good, not just win. We have to go in there and win and look impressive um, so they can keep calling the name Mitchell. Um, I've seen a couple of fights on him. Um, I haven't watched him too much. I let my trainer break him down and dissect him, but uh, I know he's about 6'3 and a half, uh, 30 wins, three losses, one draw. He's fought a lot of good opposition. Um, he's never been stopped. He has 16 KOs. He's a veteran. He's going to come to fight, and I expect nothing less. Um, I expect him to come in and not to lay down. Um, he's probably watched me on tape, so I know he has a game plan. He might have two or three That's game plans, plan. but we'll be ready. I plan to, I don't, I don't plan for the, the, the fight to go to the decision. At the same time, I'm prepared to go all a hard 10 rounds, but uh, I'll be lying to you if I said I didn't want to be the first to stop Timur Bragamoff. And, uh, that's what I plan on doing, in a, not in a reckless fashion, though. Not a lot of fans know a lot about Timur Abragamov. He's got a good record. He has fought some top heavyweights, such as Tony Thompson. Does come in with a good record. And a guy who's never been knocked out uh, hails from Uzbekistan. I don't know. I don't think many of us know much about Uzbekistan. I can't tell you who the president of Uzbekistan is. You'd probably have to ask someone uh, running for president in this country to tell you who that is. Ask me who's the president of you, Becky, 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 Stan, Stan. I'm going to say, you know, I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> You're stupid. Over the last couple of years, we've seen Seth Mitchell make a great transition from being a great athlete who was a boxer to becoming a boxer who's also a great athlete. It's a very difficult transition to make he's doing it well and we get to see uh, in the coming year in the next few fights just how great a fighter he can be going forward when you watch him he thinks like a fighter he acts like a fighter in the ring now no longer can he just win fights on athleticism alone as a football player Seth was probably the most dominant high school kid I'd ever seen and I've been around football a long time. My dad was a high school football coach. I played high school, college ball. Um, Seth was absolutely dominant. He would tell you, he would literally say how many kids he was going to put out of the game in any given game and would absolutely do it. His learning curve is uh, outstanding. It's amazing. He picks up on everything very, very fast. Whatever I ask him to do, he'll do, you know. Sometimes he'll get tired, but he'll do it. Game light years from a guy that just started, uh, was it four years ago, 10 amateur fights. Um, he's came so very, very far, and I think he can go all the way to the top. Um, what, what always surprises me about Seth Mitchell is that he, he has really taken the game so quickly. Because, again, making that transition to, from one sport to another is not always easy. And... I think I'm um, watching Seth through his amateur career. I was very impressed even then with his with his immediate take of the game. Definitely, I, I definitely feel that there's a lot of room for improvement, but I, I'm definitely becoming at home in the ring. Um, I see it. I, I see things a lot slower. If you look at the tangibles, you look at his size, you look at his speed, you look at his footwork. When you combine that with Seth Mitchell's work ethic. You really have a recipe for what can be a great champion. Whenever you talk to people close to Seth, they all talk about this work ethic that he has and has had throughout his life as a premier athlete. I can remember our, our football team would not have, we'd have to give him a day off, and he would organize his own practices and require that every other kid on that team be present. This uh, is in high school? In high school. Um, he's been that kind of person since I've known him. Yes, he does. Um, 
Yes, the workout today was very, very intense. Uh, I never had, I never seen a heavyweight do that, you know, because it takes so much energy with their weight, their mass, you know, and, and the oxygen level that they burn up in that ring to, to go at that pace for that pace, at so long, you go at that pace so long. Incredible. Incredible. Um, this is a guy, his worth, Seth's worth ethic is one of the better I've seen in this area. Um, this guy loves to, to spar. He loves to train. He listens. And that's one of the biggest things. One of the things that Sharif Salim always says to me is that he loves the way Seth listens to Andre Hunter and does what he's supposed to do. And I think his mentality in, in the ring is being able to think in the ring and know the situations before they take place and adapt to those situations, all that. I think his ethics has been wonderful. And it, it shows in the ring. He's Seth's discipline as a boxer, as a person, he know, we know he's able to finish what he starts, uh, which I think even after he could not play football anymore, he is still well-loved and well-remembered by Michigan State alumni. Um, that was uh, very important to me, getting my, getting my degree. Um, it was something, when I start something, I like to finish, so... When I accepted my scholarship to Michigan State University, there was no doubt in my mind that I wouldn't graduate. You know, that, that, was, that was a given that I was going to graduate. So, I mean, it wasn't a, it was actually a bigger accomplishment. Once I walked across stage, you know, it felt, it felt better than the lead up because it wasn't a, to me, it wasn't a question whether I was going to graduate. So the actual day of graduation, it was like a, you know, a surreal moment. It felt, it felt real good to actually, you know, walk across the stage and feel that I accomplished something to get my degree. You want to give a shout out to Michigan State? Oh, absolutely. Go green, go. I just bought some, uh, so, some shoes, some Adidas today, some green and white Adidas. And uh, when I saw them, it reminded, it reminded me of Michigan State. So, you know, Michigan State is, is dear to my heart. I always, you know, try to represent them well. Um, I wear my black trunks with, with forest green lettering and I wear my 48 so oh, big shots out to, to uh, Michigan State go green go white if you did the record button again I'll slap you done everything the right way. He has been a Spartan in the ring, no pun intended, because he is a Michigan State Spartan, but I think he lived up to that Spartan moniker. I think he has learned with every time he goes into the ring. I think he's achieved more and more with every time he goes into the ring. And I do believe that if you look at all the American heavyweights, the likes of Chris Ariola, the likes of Chaz Witherspoon, Kevin Johnson, Michael Grant, some of the older ones, I think I definitely put uh, Seth Mitchell at the top of it. Seth between fights, I don't think is allowed to go to the club. If I'm talking about someone about Seth, what I want him to know as a fighter and a person would be, uh, he, he's a very genuine, good person. Um, uh, what can I say? Uh, you know, I can't list enough positive adjectives to describe him. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a great trainer, you know. He's very quiet. If, if I didn't say anything about him, you wouldn't even know that he, he exists because he's, he's a behind the scene type guy. But um, him, him and I, my relationship is, is a great relationship. Like I said, he's not, a, he's not just my trainer. He, I consider him my friend. We have a great rapport. He knows when to push me. He knows when to, when to ease off. He know when I'm when I'm burnt out. He know when I need to be pushed. Uh, he's just he's great. You know, I, sometimes I call him and it's not just about boxing. We talk about you know just different different things. So um, he's a he's a great man. He's, he's my friend and uh, you know just a great friend. Get out of here, man. Um, Sharice Elaine, what can I, what can I say? He's a, you know, I, 
the group of people that I surround myself with, they are not only, you know, great people, they're my friends, they're my managers. Uh, Mr. Slim has done a phenomenal job and it's, it's a business and we know that, but he has my best interests at heart and um, I don't have to, you know, second guess his decisions. I my, my friend, my mentor, he was my high school coach, Maurice Banks. How do you know Chuck Mitchell? I uh, was fortunate enough to coach at Grim Park High School. And Seth was one of the players on that team, and I had the privilege of coaching him uh, as a high school football athlete. And uh, from that, we really became friends, uh, more like father and son. I consider Seth a son, but I met him coaching high school football.